God damn it, gypsy ass, piss ass, piss fanny. I don't know where to start on tonight's symposium. Only that at this juncture on the onset of a foreign conflict by scallywags and skullduggers and ferium, there has to be solutions coming forth from the Western Empire to defend ourselves from this crude, despicable act of slaughter for those who deserve it not. We, the innocent and all divine knowledge, defy all foreign mortals trying to plan and scope for conflict. It is disgusting. It is evil. It is ribbing my bones, man. It's ribbing my bones, man. Don't want to know it. Don't want to show it. But I want to solve it. You get that? Alright, get that. Get that fucking down, man. I'm not your antichrist. I'm your fucking solution. Now, let's play out the scenarios that could possibly happen if uh, the inevitable and horrible and evil and ungodly and horrific nightmare of destruction came upon us by dark lords of wicked hate. Where would you stand if you survived at all? Would you still rise up in your allotments against the onslaught of the terrible? Well, I hope so. I would. I used to be, well I'm not going to say it because I wasn't, but I was a bit, but I wasn't. I never shot anyone, but I was a good shot and they trained me. At the elite schools of the military encampments, I'm an excellent shot where I was. And I used to fly planes when I was 15 and I was very good. I was the only one allowed to do a noddy stool turn. So I know my biscuits. I have my acumen and my radar on perfect synchronicity with the divine universe under the divine being of God, or Jah, if you will, extrapolated to both Yahweh, Jehovah, Jehovah, and Jehovah, and all these things, right? They're, they're all the same breath of the Lord, of the whisper of the Spirit of the glory. And this is the monumental reality that we as Christians have to divulge in this world of lunacy and potential psychopathy on the behalf of many in their chronic, chronic weakness and fearful disparaging. So we have to think of ways around this. We have to get out of this sort of avenue of cocksuckers. And we have to like find a way to find things in the form of reality on a divine supernatural level that defies those who process sin as a way of living. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Murder, my friends, is just as much of an eternal hellfire sin as perversion. Do you understand? Or lying. Or atheism. They are all hellfire sins. You will not survive under God if you possess these wicked attributes. Do you not understand? Are you divvy? <sighs> Don't get me started on Ren the genius. I see him coming. Oh, Ren. Yes, you are the superior musician and rapper. But are you the superior mind? Probably. Probably. And probably the superior cock is, well, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucked. Uh, but there's no way out of it. I guess... Spoon. Neo was wrong. There is a spoon. But it wasn't the, it wasn't in the Matrix. Neo who said there was no spoon. It was some little Buddhist Asian monk, wasn't it? There is no spoon. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Do you remember? And Yuri Geller in the eighties bending these fuckers with his supernatural powers. It was apparently done in the rapid manoeuvre of the moltenness of generating heat in the, in the, whatever the technical term is for this part of a spoon. I apologise for my ignorance this night, I display such disknowledge of the workings of a spoon. However, without this humble little number of genius, very few people would go without pudding. You need these things, you need these spoons. Matrix was brilliant. But it's not very wise, isn't it? You need a spoon to eat your pudding. Okay? It's quite simple. Alright. There is no spoon. Well then, how do I eat my soup, fucker? 
right? It's not all an illusion. And I'm here to tell you the reality. Reality actually is real. Okay? So that's why it's called reality. And I just come down my pants, I think. It's not, I just felt a drip down my trousers. That's disgusting, I know. That's not a normal, sort of normal thing I say. But something just occurred on my left flank at a minute level of liquid form. Now, I don't know if it was from my phallus. It might have been a drop from the Lord of Holy Divinity providing me with further solution to discomfort and ill health. Because the Lord does protect me and look after me and heal me in many ways under miraculous skies of true glory. But the problem is, the mortals, the ungodly, do not think my miracle my middle tools are true. And they are. Thus we have a psychoschism between origins of terms between man and tribe and idiots and bellens and inglorious fuckers. And thus I say unto thee this night remember my children there is a spoon and may it feed you well with your holy porridge and whatnot, because we live richer, each one of us, these days under the court conservative rule, than a hundred percent of humanity in history. Think about it. It's true.